Westlife member, Brian McFadden, playing your favorite music from Westlife. Best of glamour and rock and roll. Live in Cebu. Oh, On November 16, 2019, 8 p.m. at Mediterranean Waterfront Cebu City Hotel and Casino. Tickets available at Waterfront Hotel, EKG Pro Ticket Booth, or in all SM Mall Cinema Outlets and SMTickets.com. Contact 0998-964-4589. Presented by EKG Productions. Buy your tickets now. Good evening. It's Thursday, November 14, 2019 here in Cebu City. I'm Flor Kerubin and here's all you need to know in Newsbeats tonight. The southbound lane of the South Road properties will be closed for six hours this Saturday to give way for the Cebu leg of the 30th Sea Game Church Run. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. To give way for the Cebu leg of the 30th Southeast Asian Games Torch Run, there will be a six-hour road closure of the southbound lane of the South Road properties on Saturday, November 16. The road closure will start at 2 in the afternoon from the corner of F. Vistil Street fronting SMC Side City Cebu up to the boundary bridge of the cities of Cebu and Talisay. The closure will last until 7.30 in the evening or once the event is finished. The northbound lane of the SRP will be utilized as a two-way road to give way to motorists going to Cebu City and Southern Cebu. The Cebu City Transportation Office will deploy 31 traffic personnel who will manage the traffic flow. Some 6,000 runners will run the stretch of 5 kilometers and they will be joined by 10 torch bearers including Cebu City Mayor Edgardo Labella and the Presidential Assistant for the Visayas Michael Dino. The run will also be participated by students, policemen, army and government employees. It's gun start will be at 5 in the afternoon and will be followed by a short lighting ceremony and a program in SMC Side City, Cebu. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. Authorities arrested a suspected gun runner in an entrapment operation in Danao City yesterday. Operatives were able to seize 12 illegal firearms from the suspect. Here's Chari Coronel for the details. Members of the Criminal Investigation and Detection Group in Central Visayas arrested a suspected gun runner in an entrapment operation Wednesday afternoon in Barangay Ginsay, Danao City. Authorities identified the suspect as Renato Ramoneda Jr., an alleged member of a syndicate that sells illegal firearms in Cebu Province. According to CIDG Deputy Regional Chief Ronald Alan Tolosa, they conducted an operation with buy bust money of 108,000 pesos after they received information about the illegal activities of Ramoneda. Seized from Ramoneda were two KG-9 machine pistol, six caliber 45, and four 9mm pistol. Ramoneda admitted the allegations, but he insisted that he stopped selling illegal drugs after he was arrested in 2013. He added poverty pushed him to return to selling illegal guns. The CIDG Central Visayas is now tracking those who bought firearms from Ramoneda. Chari Coronel, News Beats Tonight. The first batch of the Chopere Scholar Program trainees in Danao City have graduated Thursday morning. Here's Kenneth Torres for the details. The first batch of trainees of the Tupere Scholar Program in the city of Naga have graduated Thursday morning. The 20-day training was conducted by the Technical Training Center of South Cebu Incorporated and the Technical Education and Skills Development Authority. The training in heavy equipment operations was participated by 100 people consisting of public utility jeepney drivers and some of their immediate family. 50 of them were trained to operate a hydraulic 
metallic excavator, 25 were assigned to motor graded, while the remaining 25 were trained to operate a bulldozer. Clarissa Geraldo of Tesda Cebu said they have 1,000 slots for the training. Geraldo said the program is an alternative way of helping drivers affected by the PUV modernization program. Tesda Specialist 1 Henry Rockliffe said they also offer other trainings like cookery, bread and pastry, bookkeeping, and housekeeping. Rockliffe said they will meet with other PUJ drivers and their family to ask their preferred course. The graduates received a certificate of completion, an NC2 certificate, and training support fund worth 7,000 pesos. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits Tonight. More stories in Newsbits Tonight after this short break. For the latest in sports, here's Kenneth Torres. The Cebu Casino Ethel Alcohol kept their bid for a playoff spot alive in the Maharlika Pilipinas Basketball League Lacan season after besting the Navotas Unipac Sardines 83-71 last night at the Inare Center in Antipolo Rizal. In the early quarter of the game, Cebu Sharks struggled, trailing 14 points against the 23 of Navota Sardines. Cebu Sharks eventually took over the lead in the third quarter, 56-51, after a flurry of baskets from Adrian Lau and William Macaloni. The Cebuanos kept on coming in the fourth quarter with a 10-2 run through a three-pointer shot by Macaloni that gave them a 13-point lead, 66-53. Macaloni led the Cebu Sharks with 32 points, 14 15 rebounds, 2 assists, a steal, and a block shot. Rafi Octubre added 12 points, 6 rebounds, 2 assists, 4 steals, and a block shot. While Lau chipped in 12 points, 7 boards, 2 dimes, a steal, and a block shot. Cebu Sharks captured their 9th win in 19 games and placed 9th in the South Division. Kenneth Torres, Newsbits. To get the latest, visit www.sunstar.com.ph and follow us on our YouTube channel and official social media accounts on Twitter and Facebook. I'm Flor Kerubin. Good evening.